All right, hey guys, welcome to my live at lunch for today. Um, it is Tuesday, June 23rd. I think I got the month and the day right this week. Um, I seem to be struggling with dates lately. I think the year is just going way too fast. Um, I hope that everyone is doing well and surviving our continued quarantine. Um, I know we are anxious to get back to normal here at my house. Um, we, <laughs> we're ready for people again. Um, so today I wanted to feature uh, another product suite that is in the new annual catalog. Uh, just to continue with my month-long virtual launch party. Um, so man, I've got like this funky shadow. I think it's just me blocking the light. move. We'll move this over. I've got a, a floor lamp that I can move. Ooh, that looks so much better. Okay. So, and it was behind me. So, uh, this week we're going to look at the In Good Taste Suite. This one's actually really cool. When I first saw it in the catalog, it didn't really, um, like, I just didn't feel it. Like, I don't, whoa. Um, I, it was one of those things where I was like, oh, I don't know. I loved the DSP. Um, I thought it was fantastic, but the stamp set and the dies and the embellishments, I was kind of like, mm. um, and then I saw a presentation from a, a, another demonstrator in Canada with this suite, and it was one of those, oh my goodness, I have to get it, and so I ordered it. Um, and because I was like saving everything for my live at lunch, I haven't played with it yet. So now that we're here, I can start playing with it. But um, in the catalog, you can find all of the pictures and some sample projects. And it's on page, um, pages 122, 123, and 124. Uh, so in the new annual catalog. And I am so excited to show you the the. the the stuff that comes with it. So some of the things that come with uh, in the bundle, you have the um, stamp set of, of course, you know, there's a stamp set and it's bundled with a die pack. Um, and because I knew there would be a glare on there, where did I put it? I, um, I did do some cutouts. So these are the images and I just stamped it right from the the sheet of stamps so you've got a couple of textures you've got the flower and stuff you've got the feather and you've got some great um sentiments man words are hard today um so that you can use those i i did i just took it straight out of the stamp case because i hadn't put the stickers on it on the back and just like plopped it down so like some of them are kind of skitty wumpus but you know so like the Good things in life are better with you. That would be a great anniversary card for your special somebody. And then um, these are the dies. So they're all just um, different frames and stuff. Like this would work great for scrapbooking. Uh, it works with any stamp set that has sentiments that you want to put in. Or even like a background for an image. There's, there's so many possibilities. I've used it with other stamp sets already. Um, because I needed like a small banner for some birthday cards because I send a ton of birthday cards out every month. Um, I've used, I think I used that one one day and I think I've even used this one on a project. But if you look really close, like it's either stitched or there's like a very subtle um, embossed um, design just on the border. So I mean they're, they're fantastic and they're so reusable. Um, so also with the stamps and the, the dies, there is an embossing folder. It's the, uh, Tasteful Textures embossing folder. And this is cool. I've used it a lot, um, for everybody who got the, uh, June class in the mail kit. Um, those are, I've got one more kit to put in the mail today. Um, but then people should have them. But I use this folder in there too, but it's just a simple simple texturing it looks fantastic and it's just so simple it works great as a photo map um, and then you also get some wood embellishments 
So I pulled these out. Some of them are so, so tiny. So, um, so you've got these itty bitty, you've got like this X and O. You could do like a tic-tac-toe card and, and put those in there. Oh, there it goes. It focused. So we have those ones. And then there are some, some leaves and a little, um, flower thing. So there's two different sizes of leaves. Um, I don't use the wood embellishments a lot, but these are so pretty. I'm, I'm excited to play with those ones. Um, with any good suite, we also have DSP. Um, for those of you not familiar with Stampin' Up! Lingo, um, that's designer series paper. And in this pack you get, oh goodness, I counted it earlier, I want to say 24... Uh, sheets of paper, so it's a thick pack. Um, the the pages are double sided, and there's two sheets of each design, which is pretty normal. Um, from what I was told in my training, um, these are photographs where somebody from Stampin' Up went and took pictures of tile, and they took pictures of the wood grain and like different fabrics, just to get all of those different. Um, texture combinations so I love the wood grain it's great for masculine cards um, so I'm just slowly showing you like this looks like brick that was um, like whitewashed or something that is just stunning but I fell in love with with the paper like I couldn't help it but this is just fantastic um, so we've got a whole bunch of just super simple um, designs it would make a great scrapbook page background um, these textures a lot of them would be great for a masculine card which I, I know sometimes they're just hard to make I can't even tell what that is it's some kind of fabric I'm sure um, and it, the, the sheets are 12 by 12 so hopefully you're able to get a good view of this paper um, so another tile one Some more paint and, and the layered tiles that look like it's like the wood looking tiles um, but this is what my walls in my living room look like except it's all white and it's very 70s so that herringbone pattern um, and then we've got this one this one is it looks a lot like the um, the tasteful textures uh, embossing folder so you've got it's kind of the same pattern on that picture and then oh, there's just a couple more sheets like I mean it's so pretty I can't help but show you all of them and you know so this one is a good simple pattern if you have a friend who's like really into old retro type cards like that could be a fun pattern to use and then like this this brick like image here so tons of gorgeous options for the paper and now that my pack is open because I have shown it off I can't wait to start making uh, projects um, so as soon as I have some cards made I will show you some pictures um, oh my goodness yeah Mandy I absolutely love this paper I think it's my favorite out of the whole catalog um, so, all right, so the stamp set is a clean stamp set. So when you open your case, you have a sheet of stickers and you have your foam stampy sheet. So what I do, I wanted to show you today how I put these together because some people don't know. Um, and I've seen a lot of techniques over the last few years. And then when the clean stamps came out a couple of years ago, um, people kind of started freaking out um, because <laughs> the the stickers are very sticky so what I do is I open my my case um, and then I punch out all of my images off of the foam pad um, I think I've demonstrated this in a class before but now it's gonna be on video for everyone to see um, and while I'm punching these out so after my Facebook lives 
I download the video and post it to YouTube. So you can either come back and watch it on my Facebook page or you can go to Stephanie Stampers on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. So far there's just my Facebook Lives. Um, I've been having some technical difficulties with my camera on my phone. So if I'm not doing a Facebook Live and I'm just recording, then um, my camera just decides to stop recording halfway through and I don't discover it until, you know, I'm all the way done filming and I've used up all of my supplies, which is one of the problems I'm having with my uh, class in the mail. So, um, okay, so now that everything's punched out, um, I just remove this backing. You don't have to do this. I do it so that I know if I'm missing a stamp. Um, and then I just, oh, all right, this part is so wonky. So I just make sure it's lined up here and I just stick this in here. So at this point, I think I'm missing all of my stamps. Just kidding, they're right here in a pile. Um, but this is a great way for me to know, okay, I am missing this stamp right here. I need to find it. Sometimes it's just stuck to a block because I didn't clean up after I was done with my project. Um, so after I remove everything and put that in there, I start removing my backings. If you are nervous about putting something on the wrong spot, then just do one at a time. I'm, I'm comfortable enough now. I will take off all of them and do it. Um, but I will, I will show you the not so scary way. So I found my corresponding image and I'm gonna remove this paper backing from the stamp image. And then what you wanna do is line up your image or your stamp with the sticker outline. And I leave it on here so that I don't get bubbles and so that I can make sure it's all aligned because once these stickers touch the back here, like they just don't come off. So I make sure it's there and then I very carefully go and I peel it off of my paper. So it is like sticky. Uh, I mean, I'm shaking my finger and it's not coming off. Um, and, and you can see the the image is like right to the edge. Some people will around to make it smaller so you've got that foam bit. I don't mind it. I just make sure that I can get my finger underneath um, the, this, the stamp when I put it on my block. So you can adhere it to your block um, and it's not coming off for nothing. But you have to be careful when you're removing a cling stamp because if you just like grab and pull, you could rip this rubber bit off of your stamp. So I just make sure I slide my fingernail underneath that edge and then just peel it off. So I love the cling stamps because they don't fall off of my blocks like my, um, I don't remember what they called them before. The clear stamps I think is what they called them. Anyway, so um, when you're doing your words uh, and even your images, it's a good practice. Let me find the right stamp. So here, uh, to make sure that you're lining up. So I don't want to do, um, so I've got like this stamp where it says you are the best. Well, right here I'm holding my image and it says best the are you. So I want to make sure that I've, I'm adhering that image the right way onto my, my stamp. Ah, I dropped it. See, just keeping it real. I was, I was talking to a friend last night. Um, who's also a demonstrator and we were talking about doing live videos and I'm like oh yeah a couple weeks ago I totally said it was November and she just laughed because I laughed so so once I have all of my stickers on there I just put everything back in here and then I'm good to go and then um, my craft room is still a giant mess but another thing I do um, once I can find my envelope with all of it in there. I have some magnetic sheets and what I will do is I will put a magnetic sheet here and then I'll take all of my my dies if there's a coordinating die set and I'll stick them onto that magnetic sheet there. So when I open my stamp case I have my dies and my stamps. 
So for this one, I'm probably going to leave it in the envelope because it's so reusable. But if the, if the dies were to like coordinate exactly and it like punched out this image here, then I would want that die with that stamp so I could find it easily. And, and it saves me time when I'm making projects so that I'm not like digging through my basket of dies um, trying to find the right one. And yes, I have spent forever looking for the right die set because sometimes the dies don't line up with, like the, the names don't match very well. Um, but that helps me find everything. All right. So that is everything with the In Good Taste. Um, sweet. Oh my god. I told you earlier, words are hard. Um, so I hope that you love it as much as I do and that you're inspired. Um, if you do want to order this set because you have decided that it is the best set in the entire world, which maybe not the entire world because we do have the world of good sweet that I showed you last week. Um, then, I mean, like, don't miss out. Like, I, I don't know if the stamp set will, or the sweet will carry over into following catalogs. So you don't want to miss it just in case. So buy it. Um, that, that's me being a pushy salesperson. I'm so good at being pushy. Anyway, so if you only like pieces like, oh, I love the DSP and I just want that, then you can just order the DSP or you can get everything. And there's one item number for the whole suite. Um, and the, everything that you see here is $85 and it's going to be so much fun to play with. So I can't wait to see what you make with this suite and I can't wait to show you what I decide to make with this suite and oh I was gonna tell you and show you the coordinating colors like I did with World of Good and I completely forgot about it so um, I don't have the inks out right here but coordinating colors are petal pink early espresso night of navy very vanilla smoky slate uh, gray granite and basic gray and those are such fun colors to put together. I think of a baby shower when I, when I see those colors. Um, but, you know, you can use whatever colors you want. That's, those are the colors that are coordinating, that will coordinate with your DSP. Um, but you, you can really use whatever colors you want. It's, it's not like a set in stone. You must use these colors. Um, be creative, but let those juices flow. Anyway, uh, that is all that I have for you today. Um, if you do order the suite, make sure you use my June host code um, here and check out other things. Uh, hopefully the clearance rack is updated here soon. I've been like stocking it, but because um, it's nice to have some of those like ribbons and, and embellishments on hand for, for other projects. Um, but check me out uh, on my website, stephaniestampers.stampinup.net, and I will catch you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.